Good day viewers, Ivan here from Peak Off-Road Equipment, Weatherall Park, Sydney, Australia. And today again we're in the showroom, we've uh, jumbled things around and uh, we're going to show you today the uh, Bush Company TX Max 10. So this has just arrived in my showroom, I'm one of the first to get one for the display and already the customers have been waiting for this for a long time. So it's important to show you the differences here today with this tent and the old, not the old tent, the smaller version of the baby brother really. Go through a lot of information, some weights, how to mount it and all that. Um, I'm going to show you inside both tents and also going to give you a quick comparison between the tent behind me, which is the AX27, super popular tent. This is not going to fit on all the cars. But anyway, let's not walk around, let's get acquainted with the baby version, just the TX, TX27, not the Max, the TX27, and let's get started. All right, as you can see here, it's a double opener. So basically, this base here is now, uh, how would you say, it is consistent with the whole of the tents, all, all three of the tents. So the DX, the, the DX, the AX and the TX have all got the same base. The DX and the AX share the same roof tent, uh, roof, the tent on the roof, or no, the cover, the lid. So also, this one also shares the lid, which is exactly the same, because they're exactly the same bases. Really the difference is in all the extra work to put the second lid to open it up the second time. So this tent here weighs 123 kilos. That's off their website. Usually they weigh a little bit more, two or three kilos sometimes. Uh, if you add the ladder in, it's another, you know, four, five, six, seven, depends whichever ladder you use. Um, this angle here, this is the, the baby brother, like I said, the TX. Um, this in its normal operating uh, without the lid being open is the same as a DX. So when this lid comes down, I've just got to pop it down now. Let's move this sign. Just stay there. Just mind me for one second. I never put these in. Right, I'm just going to bring this down. Oh! Right. Okay, so I could explain to you, right? So what you see right in front of you right now is a DX27. So this is the, uh, the same size as the original uh, Bush Company tent was, basically exactly the same. So if you don't open this up as it is now, let's say it's raining, hailing, apocalypse, you can still use this, and a lot of people do, as a, T, a DX10. So that's what it looks like. If you look at the DX, it's exactly the same. All right, so the measurements here are 2250 or 2300 by uh, 1400 wide. Now, this is what we're here for, to come and have a look at the TX Max. I'm gonna get this right, see, I haven't had the tent here long enough. Um, I'll get on this side, David. Oh, say thank you to David. David's here again taking a shot on a Wednesday night uh, after work and uh, to put all this together. So what you see here, actually, you stay there, I'll get on this side. The, the base of this tent is exactly the same as all the Bush Company tents. So no longer does each individual tent need its brackets or whatever, which used to be the case. Now these brackets for the awning, they can be mounted here. If you want to mount a hip warning here, you can mount it here. Or, as normal, you mount them to the side. It's the same way as you're doing the, um, uh, the AX uh, tents, which we've been mounting now for several years. Um, the width is the big part. In actual fact, um, let's do a quick test. So this is off the cuff. This is not what we kind of were talked about. Dave? I'm going to get inside this tent and I'm going to lay one shoulder against one side and put my arm out. Let's go have a look at this. Rightio. Okay. 
So there's my shoulder. Look at my guts. Don't, don't suck that in, Ivan. If I've got my shoulder hard against here, it's good to go here. I can nearly touch it. So this is a 1400 tent, wide tent. Now, I'm going to go jump in this one to show you the difference in... Oh my God. You wouldn't think it matters so much, but look, there we go. My shoulder's hard against here again. And there's your 200 difference. So I'm a, I'm a larger human, 6'3". Scales say they lie all the time. They say I'm like 70 kilos, but my missus says I'm more than 100, so pff, scales are scales. But anyway, have a little dial to adjust it, whatever you want. But here you go, 1600. We had a couple in today who wanted to put a two-year-old in there as well. So him, her, and a two-year-old. It will do the job. Now, let's go back out of this tent. So, as you can see, there's a bit of room in there. Uh, it's a lot more. Two people, plenty of headroom. Some people can get changed in there. They've got pockets on the side. Let's go to the side of the tent, have a look. Again, you can put mounts all across here. So uh, Bush Company are coming out with an ensuite, which is going to be pretty exciting. So we'll be able to put an ensuite here now. Also, the ladder bracket comes in here. This has got a double bunger ladder, like we had on the other one. So it's got two, two pins and holds it really straight. I don't know if I'm a fan of that or not, but it is what it is. I'll quickly show you how to close this down. Right, so this is where the tricky part comes. When you've got uh, some of the taller trucks and the tent now is 2.4 metres in the air, you've got to get access to these things. So if you can't actually physically do it from inside, you'll have to work out a way of doing it from inside. So it's a matter of pulling these out. Right? But you're doing this from inside because this can be difficult to get to. On a trailer, it won't be an issue. So you can pull this part up from the inside, pretty straightforward. And then there's a handle on the inside to bring it in. So I'm pulling this from the inside, as you can see. Right, when you get to this point in time, it's a matter of just putting the latch on. You can't do this bit from inside. The other parts, the poles, and also um, the, the extended strappy thing, all can be done from the inside. These two have to be done from outside. So just imagine 2.4 metres in the air, you're going to be able to have to reach down and make sure that's happening. We'll go inside now with see that's closed. Now, if you're going to have two people or three people, uh, two people and a half, like a four foot child, you know, three footer, yep. one foot, two foot, one foot with a orangutan walk, two foot, you know, still needs nappies, three, three or more foot, it's kind of like a human. Um, they'll be okay here, but you'll need to have bedding for three. This is how much room you have, right? The lid comes, I'll just use this as an example. The top of the lid is here, and this is the space, right? There's my hand. That's the space. So there's a lot of space in here. The same way as this is curled up, it'll be for the awning that's above us here right now. So you can put a lot of space in. As you can see, we have two lots of pockets, which is fantastic. Um, you can buy more of these pockets and put another one there, which will be, or another one, two, not the third one, or maybe even the third one maybe up to three more sets of pockets. Also here, you can't see, but you've got the capacity to run a cable up here to run some lights on both sides. I think you'd be able to see that better on the other one. We'll put some pictures in that now, of that, of this, how you can run the wires in. I use the Amazon lights, and uh, we'll take some photos of that when the next one's open. Uh, the fly screen's all mesh-proof. Mesh now, the mattress really hasn't changed. 
But what Bush Company have done to make it feel much softer is they've just put this lighter material in. Um, super cool. Compared to the old DX that I've got here, um, which has been on display because they haven't changed it much since inception, uh, it's much, much softer. And I kind of like this. But the actual mattress hasn't changed itself from the AX or the others. So the change of this mattress cover is, is pretty cool. You've got some um, pockets. This is a double tent, right? Inside and outside canvas. You've got inside cover and also outside cover that comes down. So you've got two lots of covers, one here and one on the outside. Uh, this is how we got it. We just unboxed it, put it together. Uh, yeah, basically the inside is done. All right, so what you see is how we've closed the back half of the tent, how we've actually physically uh, got it to this kind of section. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly close the tent up now and show you that. And then what we'll do is we'll talk about the lid and the capacity of the lid because that's pretty important for most people. So this is a pretty in-depth sort of uh, a video. All right, let's go close it up. Right, so normally what you do is, this is pretty easy, this can be done above your head. Uh, if you come to the showroom, I'll show you how to do this. I'll just move this around now, get it out of my way. You can pull the bottoms out. And it's pretty much the same as the AX. Put it across, find the seam, bring the seam in, so seam, seam, bring that up, bring that up. This one doesn't go that way, it goes this way, and it's a matter of just bringing it down. As you're going down, the strap will go to the top. Now you can't see the room that you have. And we'll just put these sides in. It would help if they were all closed up, but anyway, just about to bring it down. So we've got the lid, huge lid. How much can we put on there? Bugger all is the answer. Could put some load bars, solar panel. We'll just do a, we'll just, I'll just grab some solar panels. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. Had to go find the solar panels. So your first option is whacking the solar panel on. Then, because solar panels don't like shades, you put a uni strut on, and then you can put the Bush Company bar on. Got this one. Bush Company bar on, because this is now 1600. So they're 1500 uh, wide, what it calls. The Bush Company bar can be on there as well. I have to check if they've got the longer versions yet. And then you can put solar panel, solar panel, bar, bar. So you can put up the four bars. So while you're driving, to put a kayak and kayak holder on there, no problems, but when you come to the place, off it goes. So that's option one. That's not to, not to uh, shade, shade your solar panel. The other option is solar only, which is something I recommend, and you can get one of these. Look at that. 430, I think 430 watts. Just glue that sucker on. You can even bring it into close to one side and run your wires with some clips down here so they don't flap in the wind, just like that. Run the bolt in, have we got another bolt here? M8 bolt, just slides in the, in the top and you can put a little clampy to hold that on. Very easy, super user-friendly. Um, I think that's just about done it for that. Uh, that's it, I think we're, we're good. We talked about the, the mountings. Oh, let's open this up one last time. So opening it up is just as easy as, as this. Now we're talking about mountings, we're gonna go down here Right, so this is a standard rhino rack bar. You run your bolts in, and then you run your bracket in. 
You can also run it in this way, your bracket as well. You do get a universal mounting kit, which sometimes can help you, but I strongly suggest that you mount this correctly using the, it's a very expensive tent. This is the top of the line for the Bush Company tents. So it's just a matter of any sort of bar that way, or if you wanted to, you could even run a bolt all the way through here. Right through, run the bolt right up here. I can get it. And then run that through. Right through here. Or if this is a square tube, right through here. So yeah, it's, it's fairly easy. It's not hard to mount this one on. But you've got to be able to do the 133 kilos, also be able to get to the latches. Anyway, what we might do is we might just finish up and uh, I'll see you with the front camera and we'll end it up. Rightio, so yes, you've seen the tent now. It's the TX, uh, standard tent, just wider. Just wider, that's the main part. The actual usage of the tent is, like I said, pretty straightforward. The poles go in, I'll just put this one in, because I don't want it to look too, too terrible on camera. It's, it's now pretty much Bush Company's flagship um, product. Not many people, or I don't know of anyone else, who has a double opening tent like this, where you have that room, you have ventilation on all four sides, especially if you're going up to the the hotter or humid weathered places. If it comes into a storm, you can, like this one here, uh, I showed you, just use it as a DX tent. It's, it has the same room in it. So you can use it that way or use it this way. All the mountings fit. Shovel mounts, awning mounts, spotlight mounts, fan mounts inside, they're all, the whole range fits. Now the whole range, and what we've got behind me is, the DX, the AX, the TX, and the TX Max. All these tents bases are the same. Now I've been uh, with Bush Company as uh, their Sydney distributor here for now seven years, or eight years, probably even more, I'm not sure. Eight years, it's been eight years, yeah. So I've seen the development of the tent. At the same time, we've had other products here as well and I've seen them develop. But this is the company that has got the job done right, in my, my opinion now. In this showroom, uh, we have two thirds of our tents on display are Bush Company. We have all their awnings on display. Um, it's an up and coming company. We do not get warranty issues. I can't remember the last time we had a warranty issue. In any case, Australia, support um, Australia right around Australia. There is dealers now everywhere. And I know Dean, say hello Dean. Dean's in America and talking to American uh, distributors out there. So South Africa, Australia, America now. And then from there, it can only grow more and more into the company that it is. Sorry for running this along for a long time. People want to know about these tents. Um, this is an expensive tent. There's a lot happening in here. The quality of the product is excellent. Um, I do these videos because I believe in the product. So you take it as from there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening to me dribble. I'm so happy to have this tent, this finish of the range. Snake preview, there might be a light version coming out, but um, that does it all. So hooroo guys, enjoy the time and I'll see you out on the tracks. Cheers. Let's go home, mate. Let's put this showroom back together. I don't know if we're supposed to do it in this order. I we shall try. I even broke my own rules. Oh. Pretty easy.
last thing. <laughs> I'm all thumbs, mate. I think I need dinner. That's what I need. Can I get it from here? Yeah, I can. Done.